up everybody, Tommy Bridle here, how are you all doing? Um, been asked by Fast Bikes Magazine uh, to do uh, to do a sort of uh, regular blog, um, obviously of, of what I've been up to, how the season has been going and, and everything, so first attempt, so bear with me, yeah, you know how it can be, but um, yeah obviously, you know, going straight onto the racing sort of front, um, it's been, uh, it's been an eventful sort of first three rounds, I guess you can say. Um, you know the team's been working fantastic, and the have been working hard. We've just um, we just had a bit of bad luck, really. But uh, yeah, Brands Hatch round one um, went out of the box straight. You know, without a huge amount of testing, and we had a few electrical problems in testing, and um, yeah, straight out of the box in fifth and race one. So you know, I was pretty buzzing about it to be honest. Felt felt pretty you know pretty cool to to get that done. Um, race two, we uh, we obviously had the um, uh, a water hose uh, clip break, which was um, which was a pain. Um, could have done without that, to be honest. But hey, that's just the way racing goes sometimes. Um, obviously, on to to Fruxton, you know, feeling quite sort of confident in and the bike was working well. But for me, Fruxton, I just want to stay at home every bloody year, to be honest. Me and me and Fruxton just you know it doesn't it doesn't work like so it's a shame because it's my local track so many local fans and they all think I'm useless around here to be honest but um, well they ain't too far wrong but no uh, yeah this year obviously didn't disappoint yet again um, a massive thanks <laughs> to the place but uh, yeah obviously had um, in race one a you know a mechanical problem again um, which was a shame and then race two Bob Harris um, wiped me out at the end of the back straight. Obviously, uh, just a racing accident, really not his fault. I think uh, I think sort of be saying he, he lost his brakes. Um, so that was that. You know, uh, got wiped out. You know, 177 mile an hour. I think it was on the data. In sort of to be honest, feel, feel obviously very lucky to to be able to sort of not quite but nearly walk away from it. You know, obviously I had quite a bad sort of laceration in the back of my leg where the foot peg went through. Um, and just obviously, you know, got quite a bad bad knee at the minute. Um, sort of real bad sort of build up of blood and swelling on the knee and, and pulled a few sort of ligaments in, in zone. Got a lot of sort of soft tissue um damage which is a bit of a pain, but hey that's that. Um, you know, since then obviously we've had Alton Park. Um I worked well obviously after Fruxton we had sort of two, two and a half odd weeks off and literally just played it by the book for once of, of trying to get fit and um, and managed to get back for Alton Park um, which was good you know big thanks to uh, to everyone really at, at, at Metabolic um, which is what they're called not Metal Bollocks but Metabolic um, the the physios who, uh, who sort of really pushed hard and, and got me on the right stuff um, to get me back um, and obviously on the right track and so on so yeah um, um, Alton Park was um, wasn't too bad for us really you know qualifying seventh and in two fifths in the race I um, was pretty happy with that as a team I was I was a little bit disappointed if I'm honest just generally because I physically physically could not have give um, any more I chucked everything in the hat that weekend without crashing the thing in, in hurt myself, you know, I literally chucked everything in the hat and that was as good as, as everything was if you like, you know, um it's good for us though to, to get two fifths like that in in know that we are admittingly a little bit behind obviously the the first four riders. Um and we you know we know that we've obviously got to do something to to sort of rectify that problem. You know, I, I feel maybe They've got stronger engines in us, or, or something. I think you know. I'm not 100% sure, but you know, something that we'll be, uh, you know, sort of certainly looking at. Um, you know, Alton Park there was was all right, really. In, in all considering, I went from 16th to 9th in the championship. I'm 10 points behind sixth place in the championship. You know, it's um, it's not over till the fat lady sings, so say. Um, even though I can hear one howling now, <laughs> but she might just not be singing a horny sod. <laughs> no, but um, anyway, you lost me there. But yeah, um, you know, just uh, just.
just sort of now obviously we've got five weeks off for Knock Hill, so a massive um, massive push from the team needs to be done for sure. Um, I'm you know pushing my fitness now. I've been doing a lot of swimming with my leg, which has sort of um, kept me you know okay-ish fitness. You know not I'm, I'm not feeling my fittest obviously. Uh, obviously, you know, but um, yeah, had a, a nice sort of hour and a half on the um, on the push bike this evening, which um, which was good, uh, and the knee sort of held up quite well. A little bit swollen again, you know, not being um, not being able to get out running, which is um, a bit of a love of mine. So it's uh, it's a bit of a pain, but yeah, hey, you know, got to get my knee, uh, you know, better for um, for knock Hill and obviously now with with the five weeks, I got uh, you know the perfect opportunity to do that. So. You know, apart from the racing, you know, we've just been, you know, training as much as I can, you know, it's harder than ever really, um, in sort of just putting in 110% effort, you know, I really, really want it this year, in in I can't give any more, like, so, yeah, no, um, just pushing 110%, you know, still working hard and, you know, buying and selling a few cars and obviously doing a bit of this and that. Um, still causing havoc round uh, round our way, and you know taking the dog out and uh, out shooting with the shotguns, and, and you know just the usual, as you probably would all expect. Um, but yeah, you know it's it's all been good fun, you know, and, and obviously now I'm sort of really massively looking for to, forward to Knock Hill. Hopefully we can um, have a few new parts for uh, for that round and, and be that little bit more stronger and and, uh, and competitive. Um, in, in you know it should be good like but apart from that you know a big shout out a big shout out and a big thanks to you know my sponsors skins um, you know compression clothing uh, the best on the market uh, chicken orc tire warmers are, are sort of helping me uh, now which is uh, is mega um, you got drift innovation sort of cameras which um, are, are on board which is good you know and uh, you know obviously all the local sponsors and everyone um, you know, wanting to see me succeed as much as myself, obviously. You know, so it's um, it's been a hard old uh, slaunt, to be honest. Uh, I don't expect no bloody um, no trophies. I just uh, I just obviously want to want to keep pushing hard, and you know, I have um, I have sort of tried to keep my head down for the past couple of years, and, and really sort of grow up in in try to become more of a you know a professional racer, and um, hopefully. Uh, I get given the chance, and, and hopefully we can show that um, you know I'm here for uh, you know here for the long haul. So yeah. Anyway, keep in touch. I'm going to be doing this more regularly. Uh, the blog, like you know, so look on the Fast Bikes website, in Facebooks, in Twitters, in in obviously all of my Twitters um, at Tommy Bridewell, and on my Facebooks and so on. Um, www.tommybridewell46.com as well is um, is going to be launched and. Uh, in more recent, you know, I shall uh, shall um, be keeping you all up to date. So, thanks for watching the first blog. You know, um, we'll have a few more sort of little videos of just me cocking around really soon. Um, yeah, and, and see what you all reckon and let us know. So, apart from that, I'm out. Thanks for every uh, for everything. Thanks for watching and um, see you all soon. Cheers.